Well, hello, planner babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, first, everyone, I want to thank all of my awesome Patreon members who help make it possible to create videos like this. Here they are. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. Well, today, you guys, I'm so excited to talk about this DIY junk journal that I just made, and I'm continuing to develop it and add to it. It's basically sort of a memory book of this experience of my husband uh, going through cancer that we are in the thick of it it started may 2nd and this is july the 18th and it's a long hard road it's been difficult but there's some sweet sweet things in here about it so i'll show you guys but first let's talk about how i made it i am holding my phone in my hand so please bear with me i go to my home on saturdays i drive the hour and a half from here it's not near as long that early, early on a Saturday morning or Sunday morning. But, um, and I go there and pick up things and do my laundry and pick up mail. But I keep forgetting to get a tripod. So bear with me on that. So let me tell you what I used to make the cover. Yes, y'all, an Amazon package bag. I really did. And I just thought it would be cool as a nice soft cover surface. You know, it is the paper bag material. And then, you know, here on, let me see, do I have it where you can see between the layers, you know, it's got like this, I don't know, star foam or something kind of glue stuff in between there that makes it kind of bulky, but still soft. And I thought that would make a good cover. And it does in terms of a nice strong soft cover but it's kind of lumpy too <laughs> which at first kind of bothered me but I was like no I want this to have kind of an antique like look and feel and I think it does so this ribbon I'm gonna look all around the outside this ribbon came from one of my awesome subscribers Suzanne she sent me a really beautiful box full of gorgeous happy mail I, I just appreciate it so much. So this ribbon came from there. And also, y'all, it's early. My voice, my throat is so dry. Okay. Also, this fabric that I covered it with, she packaged or wrapped some of the things in the box with this beautiful pink and green floral fabric that I am loving. And so here, also here in the center, so I just covered the... Um, paper bag or the packaging Amazon packaging material with um, this fabric and some Aileen's Aileen's uh, A-I-L-E-E-N apostrophe S glue you know you can get it from Dollar Tree Michaels wherever at Dollar Tree is the smaller bottles and then I use this beautiful sticker that I got in a set of vintage stickers from Dollar Tree and I it's actually a really strong sticker but you know it's not going to stay forever on some fabric so I used the Aline's glue as well and glued it on top I just wanted it because it's it's a book cover and I just thought it would add to the kind of vintage or antique feel that I wanted to go for so that's there and then whenever I decided to find the sizing and everything to make my cover I decided to have this piece kind of flap over I didn't glue it perfectly so Right here is kind of where the glue gathered on the corner so it doesn't lay exactly flat like I wanted to, but but that is okay. So that is how this is leaning over there. And then I punched a hole that wasn't quite in the center to be able to wrap around the ribbon to tie it and kind of secure everything, but I'll talk about that a little more here in a second. So then here we open up into the inside, which I think is beautiful. My hand is getting tired, y'all. So let me just get a better grip. Sorry about the shaky shakiness. 
And so here in the inside, I did the inside first. This is some tissue paper that she used to wrap some of the items in the box. Again, this is Suzanne. And so I just used a glue stick to glue that onto the inside all the way through. But I did the cover after I put this inside part together, so I'll talk about it in a second. And then I just wrapped around that fabric. I didn't, I did this on my lap while my husband was getting dialysis. And um, so it's not perfectly cut, but I actually like that. It's a junk journal, and I like that it has, you know, that kind of junky feel. I had like a hole in it that I ripped in the paper right here so I just used a sticker a set of stickers that came from Suzanne as well and yeah and so that's what I did so how I did the inside pieces you can kind of see some of it so I'll show you so all you do to put something like this together is you take two pieces so this is mostly made up of cards and envelopes from um, people who sent those to us because my husband is you know going through cancer which you know I'm alongside him and so you just take so you, I took this little postcard that came from Suzanne and then I took masking tape and vertically I put half of the tape on the side of the postcard half of the tape on the side of this greeting card and if one thing is taller than the other then you always want to start lining it up at the bottom and then I just tape them together and then you just take the next thing so I'm not going to open up this card so we won't see who wrote what and then on the next part it's covered but you just take that and you just tape the next thing half of the tape on one half of the tape on the other and you just keep doing that you just keep doing that all the way until you're finished and then you have you know you make sure that they're lined up here on the side you make sure that everything on the side is lined up as well and then you just take the masking tape and you wrap it around all of it so you can't see the back well you can see the back back here let's go back here yeah and you just have your last piece but you wrap all of that so this very back is actually glued to the um, tissue paper on the back yeah but you just wrap um, a couple of vertical pieces or a ideally you would have a larger wider piece of masking tape around the back to secure it all but I didn't so I just took a few different pieces of what I had and then I just started decorating it. So we'll just start looking at how I decorated it. So again, this postcard came from Suzanne. This little strip here where my husband is in the hospital right now um, is an area where it's a high risk of infection. So you have to do that. Basically the um, Quarant not quarantine gosh I can't even think y'all COVID COVID um, protocols and do that checklist that says you don't have a cold or a fever and all that stuff and then uh, you get a band for the day an armband so I just glue the armband to kind of cover up some of the masking tape this is actually you'll see the back in a moment an envelope from Suzanne and I just taped it over on the front and then you can just tuck stuff in there um, so I'll be using those tucks and things to do journaling and the envelopes from the greeting cards as well. And so there's the other side. She decorated it like this, which I love. And then this is washi tape from her also. This sticker is from a set of stickers that she gave me. Both of these are. And this washi tape was from her. And then, yeah, this is a greeting card that someone sent us and then this is a set from a set of vintage stickers from Dollar Tree since it has butterflies on the front and the back I just kind of decorated it with some more and then on the back of that one um, this was already there and then this is a from a set of vintage stickers from Dollar Tree also and then here, I really had fun with this one. This here and this 
are from packaging from some vintage stickers that I got from Grabby, the company Grabby. And then these two are vintage stickers from Dollar Tree. And then these two stickers are vintage stickers from Grabby. And then this sticker is from um, Suzanne. Yeah, and then this is just on the back of a card or front or something. I think it's the back of a card but this background was actually from packaging from something that i got and i don't remember from the store actually this is the back of an envelope yeah so you can see part of the envelope here and so this is just from packaging from something that i got and i just thought it would work really well and so then this is the other side of the envelope and i can decorate that i can put things right notes and journal and stick it in there yeah and then this washi tape all three pieces are also from Suzanne this is a greeting card someone sent us and then I'm just going to use this to cover up this little paper towel which I'm actually going to use this paper towel also to decorate a page eventually and then this, I'm staying in an extended stay hotel because it is an hour and a half during traffic from our home. And so this is the tissue paper that the toilet paper was wrapped around and I thought it was really pretty. So I used that. And then this is a vintage sticker from Dollar Tree. And then this is one from Grabby. And then this is also part of that packaging from those vintage stickers from Grabby which I just think is gorgeous. And then this is the back of that greeting card. And then this was from a, if you go to, and now I can't think of the grocery store, y'all. It's it's not Sprouts, it's not Whole Foods, uh, Trader Joe's. They have a little newspaper in there and it's very vintage in style. And so I cut this out, I just thought it was so pretty and then I this is a stamp that I got when I bought some junk journaling packages at a an art museum art yeah art museum and then this is just a package from some vanilla extract that I thought was very pretty and vintage and then this is from a Dollar Tree sticker and this is from one of the wristbands at the hospital for my husband Gotta switch hands, y'all. My hands getting tired. And then this is an, another envelope. And then inside of here, I have a little postcard that came from Suzanne. And then we'll close that. And then on the back of that envelope, this comes from uh, the wrappers from Ricola uh, cough drops. Yeah, I just thought they were really pretty. And then this is a card my husband got me for um, our anniversary. And he was sick and in the hospital, but he had a friend go and get the, these things for me. And so here I added another greeting card right here. And it's okay to see the inside of this one because he didn't say much. But this um, is the inside of the greeting card and then here is another greeting card that I taped inside of there and then with some washi tape and then these are the lids for the little applesauce cups that you can get you know they come like usually six in a package and then I just glued them on here this one was stained with some turmeric so I left it and this one I actually painted and then I took some paint and just did these little shapes around it, kind of whimsical, and then outlined them with a uh, Sharpie marker and then just colored some little circles uh, all around <laughs> with Sharpie, yeah. And I really like the art of this cover of that greeting card. And then I'm gonna cover up what was said on that one. And then this is another envelope. And then I just used some Dollar Tree vintage stickers on there. And then this sticker came from uh, Suzanne. And then, 
And then there's the other side of the envelope. And I have another postcard in here from Suzanne. They're so cute. Yeah. I don't know where you got those from, Suzanne, but I absolutely love them. Okay, can I get that back in there? Yeah, so I'll just be journaling on the back of those beautiful greeting cards. And then here's another card. And then I'm just going to cover that up. If I can flip it around, y'all. And then I don't have anything decorated on there, so I still have the opportunity to do some more decorating. And then there as well. And then this is the card from uh, Suzanne, which I love it, love it, love it. It's so beautiful. Okay, you don't want to stay laying down. <laughs> but here, it, I just it's a vertical card, so I just kind of it in that way so it could flip that way it's so pretty and I like that I could have a little flip in there and yeah the cover is gorgeous and then I just stapled here on the end part of one of those wristbands from the hospital but it's so pretty and then on the back she also sent me two boxes of two different types of cold infusion teas which, oh, I love to y'all, and I love to use the little packages as little, you know, pockets. So there's a little pocket right here, and it's just so pretty. And then this is the envelope for the card that she sent me, which is gorgeous. And yeah, look how pretty she decorated it, and how pretty this paper is. I love it. And then this was from my husband, also for i think this was for our anniversary and the other one was for mother's day which my our wedding anniversary is in may as well and he just did such a good job reaching out to friends to help him because he was in the hospital y'all and he's in the hospital now so please keep praying for my husband and so it's such a beautiful card um yeah and then this is part of the anniversary he, he included this beautiful book that you just cut out pages or I don't know what the purpose of it is. It's a book all about pictures of things about love. Well, I guess that's the purpose, but I use it to um, cut out and junk journal. And he knew that was the purpose that he got it for me because he knew I would want to do that. And then I like to collect and cut out stamps from mail because they're so pretty. So that's a stamp. And then this is a sticker from Grabby. And then here's the envelope from the card. And then I just cut out the top. This is a sticker from Suzanne. And this is from uh, Dollar Tree. And that wraps it up, you guys. So I'll be adding to this. And just I'm just going to keep adding until it gets too big to close. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, comment, and share. It really helps my channel a lot and it tells a YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos. You guys, please take care of your mind, body, and spirit because when one area suffers, they all suffer. Please continue to pray for me and I'll continue to pray for you. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.